Well, hello. Somebody wanted to learn how to play Sudoku and and felt like Wendy would be the one to to teach that. Anyway, um, it took her a really long time and she doesn't really explain it very well because, you know, trying to explain the thought process while thinking it through, it's a little confusing, to say the least, but hey! There's worse things in life. I, I can't think of what they are right now, but I'm sure they, they exist. Have fun. Well, hello, everybody. It's Sunday, 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 and the Packers are going to start in about an hour. But, as I said, um, let's try a Sudoku video. I'm, I, it's a little messy in here. Excuse me. But I believe that the Sudoku book that Jan sent me would be in this bin, Paper Arts and Activities. So, let, let's see if my organizational skills paid off. I can find it here. There it is. From Jan. Okay. It's a little wrinkled, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to blur that out. It's got her phone number on it. Don't call Jan. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do the good old fashioned paper copy of Sudoku. You can play this on your smartphone. You they actually have little electronic, I used to have, well, I still have it, my electronic Sudoku game, you know, way back when, before smartphones probably. Um, but yeah, we're going to do paper copy. Let me get you all set up and we'll start. Okay, hang on guys. Okay, so here is my Sudoku book that Heckiver sent me. And the basic premise of Sudoku is to, on this um, puzzle, you've got nine boxes, like a tic-tac-toe, and then each one of those has nine boxes. Each row and each column should only have the numbers one through nine appearing one time in each one, as well as each set of nine in a section should only have each number one through nine one time. Diagonals don't count, so don't worry about that. Lots of different tips and tricks on how to complete a puzzle or clear it out. Um, I'll just, I, I looked at the book instructions, I was confused. So, Let's see here. I don't understand. This is too confusing. <laughs> okay, so I'm not even going to try and read that and explain it, but I'm just going to start. And we'll see how much of a train wreck this is. Okay, anyway, here's how I do it. Okay, so I have a three here, and I have a three in this section. So I need a three in this section, but this three eliminates this row, and this three eliminates this row. So now I know my three has to go in one of 
these two spots, okay? So now, with my three going in one of those two, I'm gonna look down this way and, oh, look, there's a three already here, which means the only place it can go is right here. So I can put my three in. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I need to do with some pen. <gasps> Getting all crazy. Sure. Okay. Now I would do the same thing going this way. So now I've got a three in this box and I've got a three in this box. So I need a three here. But this row is excluded, this row is excluded, so my three can go here, here, or here, but I don't have another three to make any eliminations. So then I'll look over here. So I've got a three in this box, a three in this box. I don't have one here, but again, this one's eliminated and this one's eliminated, which leaves me with a three going in one of these three spots. But I've got a three up here, so I know the three can only go in one of those two. Okay. So what some people will do to keep track of this is with a pencil, they'll just, like in the corner, put the number that could possibly go there. Now, here's my tip for you if you do this method of putting your possibilities, writing them small on there. I write my numbers in the same spot of each box, no matter where I'm going, so that I have a I have room for what I need and it's easy to see. So for example, if I had my little box, you probably can't see this. I'll do starting at the top, one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle, seven, eight, nine. So that my three is always in my upper left hand corner, like a telephone keypad. I guess, right? Yeah. And my nine is always in this corner, my one and my seven and my five in the middle. That's that's just how I do it. Now, I don't know if my eraser works. Kind of. All right. So with that, now I know with this one, I can't figure out the rest of the threes. And if you're really organized, you might do the same number through the whole thing and then go to the next number. I tend to be a little more sporadic. So let's see here. What else do I have? Um, I'm just looking to see if I can find anything else quickly. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I found a six. All right. So I have a six in this section, and I have a six in this section, but I don't have one in here. And then this six cuts out this row, and this six cuts out this row, which means my six for my middle box has to go in one of these two spots. But this one has a six down here, so then I know my six has to go here. and so on and so forth. Process of elimination. So that's one way of finding things is that way that I just showed you, clearly. Another thing is because you can only have one number in each column and one number in each row, you can look to see especially when you get down low, there's only a couple spots left. What's missing from that one? We're not quite there yet though. So we're gonna just keep on keeping on with this, with the elimination method. We'll, we'll get to that. I'm, I'm skipping ahead here. Okay, let's see. I know it's getting a little dark in here too. Yeah, well, let me see here. Rats. 
that's what I like. Okay. Fours. I've got a four here and a four here. I need a four over here. This row is out and that row is out. And here's another four. So that means that row is out. Okay. I've only got one spot. It has to go there. There we go. Then same thing here. Now we're on a roll. Here's a f this four and this four. So this one has one, this one has one. Can't put it here, can't put it here. It has to go in one of these two spots. But I don't know which, which one yet because I don't have anything to eliminate it. So I'll just do a little four right there and keep going. Now, four, four, I need a four. Not here, not here. That leaves the middle three, but I've got one there, so it has to go in either this one or this one. Okay, sixes. See, I'm jumping all over. It's just how my brain works. I've got a six in this one. I've got a six in this one. I don't have a six up here. This row's out. This row's out. So it's one of these two. I don't have anything to eliminate going sideways. So six and six. So then I'll look at my nine boxes to see what number is missing. So I've got a four here. I've got a four there. I've got a four here. I got one here, I got one here. I'm missing them from here. So with that, here, here's a four, there's a four, it has to go here. Okay. So now, got a four, got a four, got a four. Got a four, got a four, and a four. I don't have a four here. Or here or here now this row is out I'm gonna look up here this row is out which leaves only these two spots but here's a four so it has to go here okay now this one this rows out this rows out leaves only these two but there's a four so it has to go here And because I had my little four drawn on there, I can get rid of that now because it's not going to go there. Same thing here. I've got my little four here. Well, I've got it up there. Now I know it can't go there. So it has to go here. Okay. Four, 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 four. Got my fours done. Let's look at uh, threes. So I've got a three, I've got a three, I've got a three. I've got a three, got a three. I don't have one over here or here or here or here. So let's see. Let's check this one. Can't go there. Can't go there. It has to go in one of these two. So I'll just put a little three and a little three. Then on this one, I already did that. And then this one, let's see here. Um, actually, okay, hang on. Let's see here. Too much thinking. I'm going to move on. Just, I got a little bit of it done. Okay. 
let's see here, fives, fives, okay, five and a five, so I'm at, this box needs a five, can't use that row, can't use that row, it has to go there. All right, this one will be interesting. Okay, I'm looking at this box. I have a five, I'm gonna do fives. I've got a five here, so this rows out. I've got a five here, so this is out. So my five has to go in this box or this box. If I put my five in this box, then for this, section no five could go there or there and this one's already full so that tells me that my five can't go there it has to go here see so it can't it can't go on any of those and it can't go those and this one also needs a five up here, and it can't go there. So that means the five is going to go in this column here, which then eliminates that one. And it leaves me only this spot for my five. Now, knowing that my five has to go here, it can't go there because Here's my five and a five, so it has to go there. So this is where then I would check all of my boxes for fives. I've got a five, I got a five, I got a five, I have a five, I've got a five, 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 five. This is the only spot without a five. So can't go there and it can't go there and <laughs> it can't go there so that only leaves the middle it has to go there so my fives are done now we'll do a box that a box has to have every number so we'll look we'll look at this one this is a good example so I've got a one three four five seven eight I need a two six and a nine so let's see if I just hypothetically we're gonna look at six I have to put a six in one of these spots but look here's a six so it can't go in either one of those so my six has to go there and I need a two and a nine, but I don't have any hints around to help me with the twos and nines up here right now. So six is this box. So it can't go there and it can't go there. So my six has to go in this one or this one. And I'm not sure which yet, so I'm just going to put a six in each of them in the normal spot of a six. There we go. Sevens. We'll look at sevens. Okay, so this one has a seven, this one has a seven, this one has a seven, that one has a seven, that one has a seven. Let's look at this one. So here's a seven, so this row is eliminated. This row is eliminated. Let's do it that way. And this row is eliminated. So it has to go there. Then going across, let's see here. We'll look at this one. This one has a seven. This one has a seven. This one doesn't, can't go there, can't go there. The only box left 
is the center has to be the 7. Then this box. So here's a 7, here's a 7, here's a 7. So it has to go in one of these two. So I'll just put, for now, a little 7 in the bottom corner. And then up here, this one needs a 7, and it can't go in the top row, and it can't go in the second row, so it has to go in one of these two. So it has to go here or here. Okay, but here's a 7 here, so it can't possibly go in that spot. So that means it has to go there. which then means this one has to go here. So I can erase that. Now, of course, if you're doing this on a phone, you're not using a pencil and eraser and it's much easier because you can put all your little test ones and, your, and then erase them on those apps. So this is kind of the messy version, especially when you don't have a decent pencil. My eraser's all dirty. Okay, it's gonna get really grubby after a while. All right, now let's see here. Okay, here, threes. I have a three here in this box. I got a three here in this box. I don't have one here. First row is out. Second row is out. That just leaves the one spot. It has to go here. Now with that, I don't have a three over here and this is out. So my three has to go in this center row, which means it can't, I have little tiny threes written here and here. It can't be there because it has to go in those spots. That means it has to go here. So I could erase that. I'm just leaving little smudges everywhere. Okay. All right, and we said it had to go here or here, but it can't go there because there's a three, it has to go here. So with that, coming down to this bottom one, it can't be in this row and it can't be in that row, and then it can't be in the top row and it can't be in the bottom row, it has to go in the center. Okay, now I'm doing a, a row. So in this box, I've got one, I don't have a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need a two and a nine. These are my only spots. So I know two and nine are going to go here, which means two and nine can't go anywhere else because you can only have them once in a column. So two and nine can't go there, which means they would need to be over here for this box. Twos and nines, if they weren't already on there, and they're not. So twos and nines, but my two can't go here because look, there's one. So that means this has to be a two. Because I need a two in this box. I need a two in this box, and I need a two in this box, and I need one in this box. My two and nine are going here, so twos and nine, well, I don't know about the nine, but my two needs to go here. My two needs to go there and it can't be there. So here's my two. And then if my two has to be there and there, then that means one of these two is going to be my two for this. But I don't know which one yet. So I'm just going to put a little tiny two in the center middle of the box. All right, here's another one. I've got a one in this section, but I don't have one here. So my one is here, here, or here, okay? It's either this column or this column, but down here, I don't have a one, and this one's taken up. So my one has to go in this column here which means my one has to go here or here for this one. 
Okay, I'm just going to put them up here in the corner. I lost my train of thought. I had it before, but lost it. Okay, one can't go there or there, so it has to go here or here. Okay, switching gears. We're going to do sixes again. Okay, I have a six here. 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 I don't have a six here. It can't go there. And it can't go there. And I wrote this down earlier. My six has to go here, which means up here, no sixes, no sixes. And I have a six there, so no sixes there. It has to go up here. So then following across to here, no sixes here, no sixes here. It has to go in the center, but I've got one there, so it can only go in one of these two. So I'll just do a little six here and a little six here. Now, in this row, it can't go here. So it's going to have to go here, which means it can't go there, so it has to be here. Six. So I got the same thing. My six has to be here or here and here or here. Get rid of that. That's done. Let's see. Eight. All right, so for this one, eight has to be here or here. Eight, eight, which means it can't be there, so it has to be here or here. Eight, eight. Okay, now here's where it gets a little more tricky. So on this particular box, I need a one, an eight, and a nine. My one can only go here or here. And my eight can only go here or here. So one of them is going to be a one and one of them is going to be an eight. And I need to fit a one, eight, and nine in there. So that means my nine has to go here because those are going to be taken up whichever way they go by a one and an eight. So my nine goes here. And then in this row, because nine, my nine has to go here or here. And down here, it has to go here or here. So I could do a little tiny nine in the corner, a little nine in the corner. So again, down here, I've got one and eight and two and nine. Whichever way they go. One and eight. And then for this column, I need one, eight, two, and nine. I've got my nines here. That means the other number would be a two. Two or nine has to go there. Okay, now twos. I have a two, I have a two, I don't have a two. It can't go in this row, can't go in that row. It has to go through the middle. It can't be here. So my two has to be here or here. This one, I'm missing a two and a nine for this row. So two or nine. Don't have any other twos or nines. Two or nine. I've got a two. So this can't be my two. It has to be my nine. So that's eliminating in the row. Let's see. Okay, here. I need a one and an eight. And a one and an eight. I've got an eight. So this has to be my one which means this has to be my eight. 
and because this was one and eight, here's my one. All right, looking at this row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight and nine have to go there. I don't have any other clues to stop anything, so I'm just going to put an eight and a nine, eight and a nine. It has to be one of those. So eight and nine are going to go in here, and I've already got them here. So that means eight and nine have to go in here, but eight can't go there. So my eight has to be here or here. So eight and eight. And then nine. Right now, I don't see anything stopping me, so I'm going to put a 9 in all the boxes. Over here, I've got 8, 9. My other number I'm missing is a 1. So, I know a 1 has to go here. There we go. And then I've got 1, 1. I don't have a 1 here. These two rows are out. It has to go here. So, for this one... One can't go there, and I had written down it had to go here or here, but it can't go there anymore, so now it goes here. And then this box, here's a one, there's a one, has to go up here. And then my final box up here. I need a one. This rows out. This rows out. It has to go here. So I've got my ones done. Now, it's a long ass video. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need an eight and a nine. So my eight and nine have to go here, which means they can't go here where I wrote them down. I have to erase them. That only leaves me with a two. So the two is the only thing that can go there. And then in this one, I had a two and a nine written. So my nine has to go there and my eight has to go there. So now let's see, eight, eight, I need an eight up here in one of those spots. One, two, three, four, five. I need a six and a nine. I've got a six here. So my nine has to go there and my six has to go here. Now I've got a completed column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should only have each number once. Okay, here I had one and eight. I wrote my one, so that leaves only eight. And eight, 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 eight leaves eight. And then this one, eight, has to go here. Which leaves only nine. Nine, nine. Nine has to go in one of those. Let's see her. Two. I need a two, but this rows out, so it has to go here. Two. And I need a six and a nine. I've got a six there, so it has to go here. And nine. All right, now I need a two up in this box. And I've got a two here, and I've got a two there. It leaves only the middle, two. And one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, I have eight left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
one, I need a two and a nine. And a two and a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then an eight and a nine, but my eight can't go there. So my eight has to go here. Nine has to go there. And then over here, a two or a nine. Well, my nine just got taken, so it's gotta be the two, which leaves the nine. All right, almost there. Two or nine, here's a nine, so it has to be a two. And that has to be a nine. And then if you're not sure, these books all have the answers in the back. But there you go. That's how you do it and make a giant mess. It's worth a try. Start with the easy ones. Maybe, I don't know, while you're listening to uh, some videos. But yeah, it does take some concentration. But I think, um, you know, like that luminosity and all that, keep your brain working as you age. It's not a bad idea. But that is how you do Sudoku. And um, yeah, dollar store. So, or just download an app on your phone. Okay, well, I don't know if anybody enjoyed that, but a couple of you were interested to learn how to do it. I don't know if I explained it well, but hopefully. But they do have some instructions and some tricks. These are more like more complicated tricks, but yeah, anyway. Okay, so that's Sudoku. Hmm. I, I don't know, whatever. Okay, bye guys. Oh, I don't think that was helpful. I'll be over there with my head in the sand.